Okay, guys, I'm back. And I can actually make this video. I had to wait till the bold and the beautiful go off. So, yeah, Ridge popped up. Question. Boom. To Katie. But anyway, um, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm all off. But, um, I wanted to come back to you guys and tell you, okay, so I made the video of asking a question about the silicones versus the reborns and the reason for my question was because i'm debating i'm kind of at the end of collecting period and i've been wanting a newborn silicone girl and so i am i probably would have collect reborns forever um but i'm kind of tired of the cost and all that stuff so um, they're now costing almost as much as a silicone. So I was debating, should I get me a, um, a newborn size girl, silicone baby, or was it a bad investment? Now, here's my take and my opinion on it. And, um, I would love to continue to get more input from everyone in, on this, um, both has a lot to do with um, the quality of how they've been made. Um, not so much of who made them, but the quality of how they've been made. And um, it's driving me crazy looking at the white of the pillow in this background. But anyway, <laughs> I, I can't focus. Um, but yeah, the quality. Um, now... I have learned with the silicones that from se several different silicone artists has told me that the thing about the powdering is that you should never use cornstarch, I mean regular regular powder. You should always use 100% cornstarch powder because regular powder has grit in it and it will eventually take off. It's abrasive against the paint. Um, on the silicones. However, my two little ones here, for the most part, their paint is inside their silicone, which means it was mixed in and they don't have much exterior paint. So that that will help me with the peeling issues down in the future. I won't say that it will 100% prevent them. I did hear that over bathing them, like bathing them every day will make them peel more. Um, I rarely powder or, well, I rarely bathe my babies for sure, but powdering them is something I do when I get ready to change them if they need it. Um, sometimes they're not tacky and I don't need to, so I don't do it. Um, a lot of times people get the wrong idea by looking at these videos. Well, okay. I know for me, I'll do a video on a Monday, and then I'll do a video on a Wednesday, and I'll do a video on a Friday, and I may not upload them that week. I may upload them Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday the next week, and it looks like I've been doing this every day. You see what I'm saying? Like. You think that these people are doing all this stuff every day with their babies, and they're really not. They're just doing it for their channel and for entertaining purposes. And when they're changing them and they powder them down and all that stuff, doesn't necessarily mean or they give them a bath, you know, for the night routine. Doesn't mean that every night that's what they do. Or every day they're constantly changing and powdering and all that stuff. So... Um, I think that, you know, it's kind of like they say, you can't believe everything that's on TV. You can't believe everything that's on YouTube. <laughs> so with that being said, with the silicones, um, also people exaggerate as far as they are very, very delicate. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like if you touch them, they're going to rip, you know, um, do you just have to be very careful with them from what I've learned? And yes, dressing them is very tedious to me. 
Um, I can dress them easily, but I still want to be careful. But, like, with Indy, the good part is, like, um, Roz reinforced under his arms and stuff. And so he has a lot of, you know, give in here. And he has, like, somewhat, like, armpits and stuff. So it makes it easier for me to change him. Um, and so, yeah, so it makes it easier. Um, I'm, I'm actually liking the smaller silicones better a little bit um well not better i like them both equally i love buying for him and dressing him and holding him but i like the little ones too um they're much easier to hold and handle because they're just tiny so it just depends on a preference with the silicones um i am trying to learn more about people that's had them you know, for a while or whatever, and, you know, interact with them a lot. Do they still stand up and hold up? That is something I don't know. Uh, with the Reborns, um, I think my oldest one is maybe a year old, and um, that would be Paris, and I've changed her a lot um, and um, interact with her a lot, and she's in perfect condition. Um, but then Yogi is a very good artist and she, she's very practical with her crafting. Um, I know that she considers the fact of how we interact with our babies, but I am starting to believe that maybe we shouldn't do as much with them. Just a thought. So I am thinking, um, so I try not to, I'm trying not to, um, change them and stuff as much. But what I do is because I have eight babies, I will switch babies off. So if you figure if I change one baby a week, um, or one baby a day, I can go seven days of changing the baby every day and then it takes a whole another seven days before the other baby gets a chance again which won't happen because I won't be that consistent because I work and I have kids and I cook and clean and I have other things other than my my baby so um yeah so then it'll end up where they're only getting changed like once every two to three weeks or yeah something like that but anyway so, yeah, so my whole point was, um, of the video, was to learn more input from you guys that are also collectors. And to, um, I'm just loving Andy little hair. I love this little hair. It's so, so cute. And I haven't touched it. I haven't done it um, since um, the last video. So, and it's still holding in the same spot. But, um, yeah, um, my whole thing is just to learn more of what you guys think and people that's had reborns for a long time i know people that has had a reborn for like 10 years or something and the reborn still looks exactly the same as it did before and i also know people that has had silicones for quite a bit of years and they still look the same uh, one of those people though the silicone has not been really played with so that don't help me too much so um yeah, so I, that is my thought process, and um, my other process, thought process is now, um, going forward is, either way it go, I don't think I'm going to um, invest, like, top dollar in either one anymore, because I've already got, in my opinion, my, my, my star babies, and... I'm just not going to invest that much money anymore. And, um, so I'm not going to say I'm going to get the cheapest baby or I'm going to go for less quality, but I'm going to take my time. And if I decide to go with another silicone, then I'm probably, I, I can pretty much guarantee you that it won't be one that's really high in price because. For one, I can't afford it. Two, I'm not going to sacrifice that much for it. 
and three, I don't know the the life span of it. So um, I want to invest my money well, and I don't want to. I don't want to invest it in something that's not going to last for twenty years. So, or I can't. You know, I have to be careful what I do. I can't do the things that I enjoy doing with them. And so that is that. And so that is what my um, video on the things that make you go, hmm, is about. So that was my reason behind it. And I hope everybody enjoy. And I, um, I have a few videos stored. And I will uh, sporadically release them but I am um, not doing as many videos as I used to um, because my time is I'm pretty busy and I am doing other things now on top of my reborn hobby so yeah um, life is picking up <laughs> for me um, so yeah um, so talk to you guys later. Give me input. Check out the other video if you have not. And, uh, the comments. I was a lot of great comments and advice given and, you know, opinions given. And so, um, hopefully it will continue to grow. So I'm thinking I will wait to, uh, release this one so that I can get more input on that other, other video. So, um, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.